In this problem, we're being asked to graph a rational function. And we've got x squared minus 2x minus 4 on top, 2x minus 4 on the bottom. Looks pretty complicated, but we can handle it. The first step in graphing any rational function is going to be to sketch in the asymptotes, those lines that the graph will never touch but will keep on approaching. So uh, the vertical asymptote, usually the easiest, it's where the denominator of the rational function equals 0. So in this case, 2x minus 4 where that equals 0. You might just look at this and see that if you plug in a 2 for x, that's going to equal 0. Or you could solve the equation here, set the, the denominator equal to 0, and then just solve it. Either way, you're going to get x equals 2. So that line is our vertical asymptote. So we'll just sketch that in. Now, the horizontal or slant asymptotes are determined by the degree of the top and the bottom and comparing them. So if the degree of the numerator is less than you have, oh, than the denominator, you have an asymptote at y equals 0. That's not the case here. Our degree is 2 on top because we have x squared, and it's 1 on the bottom because we just have an x. So when the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, you have an asymptote that you figure out by putting the coefficients over each other, but that's not the case. And if the numerator is one degree greater than the degree of the no denominator, that's our case, two is one greater than one, then we actually have to do some polynomial long division. We have to divide this top by the bottom. What we get for a result is the equation of the line that is the slant asymptote. So let's, um, let's take a look at that. I'm going to throw away some of this stuff that we don't need. And let's do our a long division. So I've got x squared minus 2x minus 4. And we're going to divide that by 2x minus 4. So the first question is, what do I multiply 2x by to get x squared? Well, that 2 needs to go away. So I need to multiply it by a 1 half and an x to get the x squared. So 1 half x times 2x is x squared. And 1 half x times a negative 4 is a negative 2x. So we subtract, and we've got nothing. And you know we could bring down this negative 4, but that's going to be our remainder because there's no, you can't get any, um, you can't multiply anything by 2x to get a negative 4. So this is our remainder. This is the, equ the equation for the line. Well, y equals that is the equation for the line. So y equals 1 half x is our slant asymptote. There's no plus b here, so uh, it has a y-intercept of 0. And then it goes um, up 1 over 2. So there, and there, and there. And let's go ahead and sketch that in. OK, I think we've got that just about right. So there is our slant asymptote. Now, to figure out where the arms of our rational function are going to lie, we just have to experiment with some points. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start with putting in 0 for x, because that's the easiest. That's just going to uh, cancel out all these x terms. I would have negative 4 over negative 4. That would be a positive 1. So the point. 0, 1 is on this function. So maybe we'll have an arm here and an arm down here. Let's try another point over here. Let's try the point uh, x equals 1. So that would be 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus 4. That's a negative 5. And 2 minus 4 is a negative 2. So that's a positive 5 halves. So we've got the point 1, and 5 halves is, is 2 and a half. OK. And let's just do one more, just for good measure. I'm going to take a negative 1 here. So negative 1 is going to give me 1, and a plus 2, and a minus 4. So that's a negative 1. And 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So that's a positive 1 half. So negative 1 is at 1 half. 
so that'd be right here. So you can basically see the shape forming here now. We could draw in something like this. And let's try to get some points over on the other side of our vertical asymptote. So let's try x equals 3. So 3 there is going to be 9 minus 6 minus 4. That's a negative 1. And 6 minus 4 is 2, so negative 1 half at 3. 3, negative 1 half. And let's try 4. That's going to be 16 minus 8 minus 4, so that's going to be a positive 4. And 4 is 8 minus 4, that's going to be a positive 4. So we've got 1. So 4, 1. So right here. And you can basically see how the shape of this is going to go as well. So that is how to graph a rational function when you've got a quadratic over a linear function.